Are you worthy to be a disciple of Jesus Christ? That's the topic of this video. At Matthew chapter 10, verse 36 through 39, Jesus says this, A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up their cross, now this is what's written in the NIV version, and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds their life will lose it, and whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. There's a lot to unpack here. But what Jesus is saying is that he is the priority. Jesus is not just referring to one's biological family or family that one marries into. You see, the members of one's household also includes, say, a particular religious organization or group that you belong to. Do you not call those persons within your particular religious grouping brothers and sisters? They're your family? So a man's enemies will be the members of his own household. This will have a greater fulfillment in the future where there'll be great betrayals. Just like Judas Iscariot who betrayed his brothers, namely the other apostles, plus Christ himself. Now, there are many today within Christianity who have preachers and pastors, and they view those preachers and pastors and apostles as being persons sent to them by God. I've seen almost 95% or even more, I'm being conservative here, of individuals who give more prominence to a preacher, a pastor, a so-called apostle than they would Christ himself. In fact, they would even give a book that men have named Bible more prominence than Christ himself. So the priority in their minds really isn't Jesus Christ because they give more prominence to the particular pastor and preacher and apostle that they have favorited. I'll watch a lot of these videos to get a glimpse of the mindset of individuals who listen to those persons on the pulpit. Those persons on the pulpit rarely mention the Father. Oftentimes they rarely mention Jesus himself and they focus more on themselves or the book, the Bible. The Bible says this, the Bible says that. Forget about what Jesus says or what the Father says. The Bible says this, as if the Bible is an instruction manual. Nowhere is it written that the Bible is an instruction manual. Yes, as 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, we are told that all scripture is inspired by God or God breathed, that is something that God himself has spoken and it is written down. That's scripture. It doesn't say Bible. The assumption, an incorrect assumption, is that the Bible is scripture. In my view, that places the cart before the horse. There was no Bible. When the Apostle Paul said what he said at 2 Timothy 3 verse 16. So how can the Bible be scripture? If that's the case, then one might as well throw in the other so-called holy books. I'm not going to mention my name, you know the ones I'm talking about, and call those scripture too. But you see, Christians don't like to play fair. They love to create the playing field, create the rules, and everyone else must abide by their rules. But no, the Bible is not scripture. The Bible is not even a word of God. I don't know where anyone gets that from, other than it being simply the opinion of men. No book can be what Christ himself is. Christ is the word of God. This is written at Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. No book can save you. No book can save anyone. No preacher can save anyone. No religious organization can save anyone. 
God did not send any of those things. God sent his son. And it is only through his son that one has access to the father who is the giver of eternal life. Jesus alone knows the way to the father. Thus, that is why we are to listen to him. So are you worthy to be a disciple of Christ? Do you place other persons and other things, even your family members, before Christ himself? I'm not saying that one should not love their families, but in large measure, individuals place their families above Christ himself and above the Father. They love those things more than they love Christ. It doesn't work like that. Because you can have a family member or family members tell you one thing, that particular family member may be a preacher or a pastor or an apostle that is self-proclaimed and may tell you and teach something that Christ did not teach. Or you may belong to some denomination or church group, and that church group believes a certain way. That particular preacher or pastor teaches things that Christ did not teach. If a preacher teaches something that Christ didn't teach, and you believe that preacher, instead of believing Christ, then what does that say about you? That you love that preacher and what he or she teaches more then you love Christ himself and what he teaches. So therefore, as Christ says here at Matthew chapter 10, verse 36 through 39, you're not worthy of me. You're not worthy to be my disciple. I remember many years ago when I was in the military and I was a Christian and someone asked me a very good question. This was back in the mid seventies. They says, well, how can you be a Christian and take up arms and carry a weapon and at the same time be a disciple of Christ. And I never thought about that. And we're talking about in the heat of the Vietnam War. And he says, how do you, how do you reconcile that? And this person really wanted to know. I really did not have an answer for him other than to say, well, the Bible says that we're supposed to obey the government. That's all I could give him. He says, well, that's, that doesn't make any sense. Because if one of God's commands says, thou shalt not kill, well, what do you do if your commanders order you to shoot and kill someone, yet your God says, don't? Who are you going to give preference to? That was a very, very good question. I didn't have an answer. It made me think long and hard about what that individual asked me. So that is what applies here in Matthew chapter 10, verse 36 through 39 that anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy whoever finds their life will lose it and whoever loses their life for my sake will find it so are you worthy to be a disciple of christ are you willing to make that sacrifice or will you take the easy way out, the path of least resistance, and go along with the flow rather than placing Christ as priority in your life? This is R. Jerome Harris, the disciple. Thank you for listening.